All right, progress report. So you guys saw Steve installed CBI's skip plate sliders. Then Mike took over and he installed the CBI overland bed rack and Prince Hook cab rack. And he just finished installing CBI's high clearance rear bumper with the dual swing out. You guys can see each swing out has its own table. So you have one big table right there. Love it. Now it's time for Mike to install the S pod. Let's go take a look. Soon you're gonna come to realize that after adding a lot of electronics to your rig, it's gonna become a chicken wire. And you're gonna need some a power control system for that. And that's when the S pod comes in. So Mike right now is holding the kit. How easy is it to install this? Uh, they're super easy. You just mount the system itself uh, somewhere in the engine bay near the battery. They have some different length cable options so you can really mount it wherever you want. And then you'll route a harness wire that goes from, from the system itself into the cab that gets to a controller, whether it be a switch panel, a button, or a touch screen. And uh, really that's it. You hook it up positive and negative and then away you go, start hooking up electronics. Then anything becomes easy, right? All you gotta do is wire it to the negative and the positive and you're good to go. Yep, yeah, as long as it's under 30 amps of draw, then the S-Pod system will handle it. Sweet, let's get it installed. Now with this hooked up, we run our harness from inside the cab out here, hook it into the S-Pod, and then the other end will hook into our switch panel and uh, we'll be finished up. Tent just got here. Let's see what Kenan got. So he got the Shasta Pioneer with the extended fly. What color? He got the tan. Cool. So now we just gotta open this thing up, get it all prepped, and ready to uh, mount on the Overland bed rack. All right, so right now, Kenny is working on preparing the CVT tent. He just installed the mounting rails with this ratcheting end wrench that came with the kit. Pretty cool little wrench. And uh, Kenny, what are you working on right now? We're installing the ladder on this CVT tent again with these nice uh, quality. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, sweet. A nice little ratcheting end wrench that they send with you. It's not like your normal, typical crappy little tools you get, but it comes with everything you need to install and put the thing together. That was pretty sweet. Also, I know Bobby, he's, he loves to pay attention to detail and he's always looking for different ways to make his tents better. The quality is just insane. Have you ever slept in one of these? Oh yeah, the mattresses are, are super Incredible. comfortable. Yeah, super comfortable. Last long, I've had mine for a few years now actually, and the mattress is still just as good as the day I bought it. Yeah, I believe you. We have it our, ourselves. So what's next? Well, once we get this put on, all we gotta do is fold it up, put the cover on it, and mount it to the CBI bed rack. Mike and Kenny just finished installing the CVT tent on top of the CBI Overland bed rack. The back of the truck is basically done and it's looking so good. Now it's time for us to move to the front where we're gonna be installing brand new headlights from Alpha Rex, they're the Nova series. We're gonna be taking out this terrible, ugly looking chrome grill. I think it's horrible and I would like to know what is your opinion on this grill. And then we're gonna prep it so we can install CBI's T3 front bumper with grill guard protection gonna look awesome.
So Mike just finished preparing the front of the truck. He just took off the front stock headlights. Now it's time to install the Alpha Rex Nova series. These things are so bright. Let's get them installed and show you how bright they are. All right, Mike just finished installing the headlights. Let's take a look. Not only is the DRL bright, but the low beam is super bright. Look at how intense they are. All right, so next, we're gonna install the Tacoma Beast TRG Post style grill. You guys know that I hate that chrome grill. This thing's gonna look awesome. Mike just finished installing the TRD Pro style grill. Just look at how. Dave, do you like this? No, no, this. Uh, this is terrible. It uh, looks just, yeah, terrible. Really. Yeah, let's put this away. <laughs> Dave from Hertic Studios just got here. Just how got long of a drive? Uh, about three hours. Three hours. Yeah. What did you bad. bring for us? So we brought a, a whole box of goodies. So, you know, for the, for the fitting in the Prince rack, we brought our 40 inch light bar combo beam pattern. Just a phenomenal all-around light. I mean, it just, uh, this by itself is just awesome. Dude, we had this at the Pony Express and this, yeah, yeah. It, this thing's bright. So, but we didn't stop there. We also, we're gonna get a pair of our really slim profile BA2s for his ditch lights. Okay, cool. Awesome beam pattern. Again, this is a flood beam pattern. Really gonna light up the sides of the roads, you know, off, off to the sides of the trails. Check this out. Sick. Then, to sit inside the bumper, We've got our 20 inch combo beam pattern nice. with an amber lens on there. Nice. Uh, I find myself using my ambers more and more. I just love the way they look on the roads, the, the way they cut through the dust. Just awesome light fits perfectly in that CBI bumper. Sweet. And then we're gonna have that oh, flanked nice. with some uh, amber quattros as well. So. Cool. Now you are working on a new project. I don't know if you wanna give us some yeah, so insight pretty, into that. Pretty soon we're gonna have, a, I mean, we, dude, we, we've got a lot going on. But pretty soon we're going to have a few different changes to this, make it a lot easier for a lot more t uh, Toyota owners. Sweet, man. Let's get him installed. CBI to me had the aesthetic I really liked. I just loved the tubular look. Uh, they had a lot of different um, choices for me as far as bumpers, both front and rear. Um, I always loved a full kind of front bumper protection for the whole hood. You know, where I live, I'm blazing through tall grass, I'm blazing through some trees, things like that. Um, so I want to make sure the vehicle's protected. And CBI just really had the aesthetic, but the functionality. Uh, it's, it's so weird, like they're a 21st century company, but they have this kind of classiness, if that makes any sense with their, with their uh, overland gear and their you know, off-road gear. So I knew that was gonna be the uh, manufacturer I wanted to work with. Since we're blacking out the truck, we can't have these red taillights. It looks off, something looks not right. So in order to black them out and be within DOT standards, 
we just took these tail lights off our shelf and we're going to be installing them to keep that murdered out look. And just like that, the tail lights are installed. Kenny right now is opening up the ARB Safari Snorkel. Originally, we were gonna use the snorkel that comes in the stock Tacoma, but it looks like we've sold it. So we took this one right now off the shelf and we're gonna be installing it in Ken's truck. My first car was a Samurai and I vowed I would never have two wheel drive vehicle again. I've had Subarus, I've had a Jeep, put the snorkel on the Jeep because it's just, for me, I want to survive the apocalypse, bro. That's what I'm building. Zombie ready machine, you know? I live where there's hurricanes, we flood. I need a snorkel. Have to have one. There better be one on this truck, dude. It's like the Swiss Army truck. I know Nathan made that comment uh, and it, it makes sense because in one platform, I'm gonna be able to interact with my animals. I'm gonna be able to load up my bikes and go have adventures. And then I'm gonna be able to take Camp Kennan on the road and we can do a lot of good with animals and just spread in that kind of education and enjoyment of the natural world. All right, last day, we're just finalizing all the small details on the truck. I'm gonna install the Tacoma Beast bed decal and Kenan should be getting here anytime now. While I'm working on installing the bed decal, Mike is finalizing all the wiring. Why is it that somebody would wanna get an S-Pod? Uh, it definitely cleans up the engine bay. You don't have a lot of wires tied, you know, on top of the battery and things. Um, helps to where you don't have to actually run the big harnesses with the relays and the fuse because with the S-Pod system it's all done internally with the circuit board and everything like that. So you really don't have to worry about that. And it, it just makes everything just a little bit cleaner. You're able to just route everything into the kind of the same place and just cleans things up, keeps it simple. And everything is just in one control panel, all the yep. switches. Yep. Let me show you that. So this is the control panel that I was talking about. As you can see, he has six switches and then there's stickers that he's gonna be able to put on top of them where he's gonna know which one's the 40 inch, the 20 inch, if he puts an air compressor on, front locker, you name it. Ken Cannon's here. He just got back from his awesome bike trip. I'm freaking out. I, I know you guys want to do some stuff with the bikes. All right, cool. I'll let you do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, we just rolled up. I'm excited, but I need to eat. <laughs> and then um, I guess it's go time. Dude, we can't wait to show you the truck. Okay. Go grab some breakfast and we'll see you in a bit. All right, man. See you in a little bit. Let's do it. All right. I live in pretty much uh, swampy, wooded areas, pine flats, mud. 
I needed something that was going to get me through them and also kind of keep the uh, keep the brush away from the truck, you know. Uh, and to be honest, let's be honest, I want a 21st century safari machine. And that's what I told him. I was like, man, I want branch deflectors. I want to snorkel. I'm going through deep water. You know, I want to make sure that I don't hydro lock again, you know, because I did that to the Jeep. And I, uh, I just wanted a vehicle that when people see, they're just, necks are going to break, you know, be honest, you, you know. So it's the ultimate reptile rescue machine. And, you know, that being said, we're going we're gonna to break some necks, but we're also going to save some lives because this vehicle is 100% functional. It's a tool. Uh, it's not a mall crawler, man. I'm not that guy. This thing's going to get used. We're going to save some animals. We're going to go on expeditions. Mateo and the guys at CBI better get used to me because we're going to be doing some stuff together. This, this is not a one-off event. Speeding your bike. This is it. Are the you moment sure? you've been waiting for. It better be, man. We keep faking you out. You do, uh, you do. I, I think I'm more nervous than ready. you are. I know, it's funny. This guy's been clutching his chest <laughs> the whole time. I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> sure. Attack. I'm <laughs> sure I'm gonna love it, man. You guys do amazing work, so. I'm ready, man. Let's do this. Let's do this. I go first. You go first. Uh, Permagrin already, guys. <laughs> I'm freaking <laughs> out, man. Shut up. You did all that. You got that. That thing is mental. <laughs> that is not. That is not my truck. It's totally different, right? <gasps> you guys got all that done. <sighs> in a week. That's a little less Look than a week. week. What, what do you guys think? Dude. Do you, do you like it? Look at it. It's Kim Kennedy on it and everything. Oh. Come oh. check it out, They're guys. speechless. I never, oh I can never not talk, man. You guys are gnarly. Uh -huh.